Hello folks and welcome to another Panini World Cup 2018 sticker opening here on the channel. Today we are opening three of these booster packs or whatever they're called, multi-packs. They work out ever so slightly cheaper than buying the stickers in individual packs. So rather than 80p a pack of stickers, which I know is still far too much money for stickers, these ones come in at £4.50 for six, which I mean it saves you like 30p I think. But you know, 30p is 30p. I've got three of these to open and hopefully we continue to make some more progress towards finishing off our collection. So the one big downside to these is that the stickers are stuck down to the packet. So when you pull them off, sometimes you sort of rip them at the back. And it opens the packets up a little bit for you. So let's get them like that one, completely ripped up. I mean, I probably could be gentler with it, but they're really glued on. Right, let's uh, let's get, the, get through the first bunch of six packs, hopefully. We won't get quite so many swaps as we've had in some of the recent openings. So, we start off with Joel Campbell. See, they're all a bit bent where I've had to be really violent getting them out of the thing. We have a Volgograd Arena sticker. I think we've already got that one, but we'll stick it up there. Um, Eva Banega. Another stadium. This one, the Samara Arena. And Anthony Martial who I think is a double. We're going to get a lot of doubles at this point. We're getting to that stage where I really need to get some trading done, which is a good job we're going to Nuneaton next weekend to do some trading. So we have Marcus Rashford. Abdullah El Said. Levin Kazawa. Nikola Maximovic. And... It's upside down. Volgograd, the city. So we've got the city and the stadium today. How very exciting. So, Giovanni Dos Santos. A team pick of Nigeria. Fedor Smolov. Bekir Bjarnason. And Dejan Lovren. Another upside down stadium pick. This one is the Rostov Arena. Blerim Zezmaili, Yusuf Poulsen, Dusto Tosic, and Valon Berami, Ivan Strinic, Sami Kadira, Emil Forsberg, Thomas Delaney, and our first shiny of the day, which is the 2014 Champions Legends thingy with Germany on. And so we get a shiny. I don't think I've got that one. I don't think I've seen that one before. I certainly don't remember it. I try and block the 2014 World Cup from memory, though, so there's a chance I have seen it before and just deliberately forgotten it. Aaron Gunnison. Diego Godin. Name Slitty. Yannick Carrasco and Shusaka Nishikawa. Right, we need to open up the next one of these packs. So, six more packs. Let's get cracking with these. They're backwards. Spoilers for what stick is coming up last. James Troisi. Another team pick. This one is Peru. Another shiny. Some fella called Pele, who I hear was quite good at the at the footballs in his day. Javier Mascherano and Raheem Sterling. Oh, a shiny team pick of Nigeria, which doesn't seem to want to go into focus. There we go. Alberto Quintero, Andreas Cornelius, Gerard Piquet. And, again, you don't want to go into focus. What is it with not focusing today? Mitchell Langerak, eventually, when we focus on him. Andre Gomez. Kevin De Bruyne. Victor Nilsson Lindelof. <laughs> what is, I've never heard his middle name be mentioned before. The Kazan Arena. And Jan Vertonghen. Philip Kostic. Vedran Choluka. Carlos Vela. 
Nemanja Matic. I've heard of everyone in this pack. Sergio Romero, an actual pack where I've heard of everybody in it. This is huge progress. David Silva. Ahmed Musa. Grigliano. The Poland team pick. And Mitchell Langerak again, second time today. So, another Andre Gomez. Edinson Cavani, who is stuck to the Panama team pick. Then we have the Mexico shiny team badge. And Nikola Kalinic. And then last multi pack to open up. So it's Cedric. Hector Herrera. Anichi Badri. Sergei Milinkovic Savic. No idea. And Adrian Rabio, who was in my Arsenal team at the non league legend when I first arrived. Moved him on very quickly, though. He was too old. I think that was him. And Sada Asmun. Alberto Quintero. Oh, I feel like I've had hundreds of at this point. Jordan Henderson. Dusko Tosic. And Eric Davis. Aaron Gunnison. They all feel like they're sticking together. I don't think they are. Renato Tapia. Name Slitty, again. Vida Orn Kjartansson. And Nasa El Shamrini. Shamrani. I'm struggling with some of these names today. We have the Australia team pick. Mikel Agu. Maka Yoshida. Luka Modric. And Ashrav Hakimi. Two more packs to go. I almost ripped those stickers in half there. Look, I mean, that's, that's some violent pack opening right there. So, a third Andre Gomez of the day, if we ever focus on him. There we go. Alberto Quintero again as well. It's a pack of doubles. Jackson Irvine. Bailey Wright. And... Jose Fonte, or Jose Fonte, I don't know which way around it is. The whole Spanish, Portuguese, Jose, Jose thing confuses my tiny brain. Philip Kostic, Kevin De Bruyne, again. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Alfred fin Finbogason, Finbogason. And Masato Moshiga, I think. Right, I'm going to get these into the book and then we'll give you a look through the book and we'll see what we're still missing. So, spoilers, we still haven't finished a page in the book, but we're so, so close with a couple of them. Where are my swaps? Look, no, they're there. Look at the state of this. That tin is now full, two piles deep. I need to do some trading with some people very, very soon, but this is the current state of the book. So we're gonna freehand this with the camera again, I think, like we did uh, last time. So there's the first page. We're all, we've almost got all of the stadiums at this point, which is pretty cool. Um, still need a few of the cities. Miss out the adverts pages. So Russia, loads of gaps still for Russia. Saudi Arabia. Egypt, Uruguay, we're actually quite close to finishing Uruguay, we still need the shiny and three players, but Uruguay might end up being the first team that we finish, Portugal, Spain, Morocco, Iran, France, we've got quite a few of. I think we need one more France than we do at Uruguay, so that's got a chance as well. Australia, Peru, we've got loads of gaps on Peru. 
Denmark, Argentina, Iceland, we're not a million miles away, Croatia, Nigeria, Brazil, Switzerland, Costa Rica, Serbia, Germany, we're quite close, although we both need both of the two special ones for Germany. Mexico, we're very close. We've got the shiny, we've got the team pick. We just need four players, so that could be the first one that we finish. Sweden, Korea, got loads of gaps on Korea actually. Belgium, Panama, we're very close. So three players and the shiny needed for Panama. England, oh no, Tunisia, England are next, aren't they? There you go. England, still quite a few gaps for England. Poland, Senegal. Colombia, Japan, and then the closest page I think is being finished are the Legends ones at the back. So we just need the one uh, multiple winners and a history maker, and then we'll have finished the uh, the Legends pages. So all in all, not a million miles away on some of those pages. Still a long way to go on the book as a whole, though. Um, so would help if the microphone had been anywhere near me during any of that. Apologies if I was distant during that second part. I think I was shouting. Uh, but fingers crossed, we are still on course to get this book finished before the World Cup starts. Well, I'm definitely going to need to do some trading to be able to do that. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos, plus stuff like this too. And thank you very much for watching.